اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم خواہ زبر خواہ تا زبر تا میم زبر ما خواہ تا ما جیم زبر جا عین زبر عا لم زبر لا جعل سین زبر سا حمزہ زبر آ لم زبر لا سأل فا زبر فا تا زبر تا حا زبر حا فتح خا زبر خا را زبر را جیم زبر جا خارو جا لام زبر لا عین جرعی با زبر با لا عیبا سین جبر سا میم زرمی عین جبر عا سمیع حا زبر حا سین جرسی با زبر با حسی با تا زبر تا جیم در جی دل پیش دو تا جی دو عین زبر عا میم زر می لام زبر لا عامی لا وی لاندا ساؤنڈنگ ناو ازید دید ختم جعل سأل فتح خرج لعب سمع حسب تجد عمل In our last lesson, we have learned only the standing job or standing there down passage and is going to be long. But normal job or normal chair, normal passage is not going to be long. All of the letters is short. All of the letter is short. That's why I'm going to ask you to read one line, one line. Fahim, can you read for me this line, please? Excellent. 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 Well done, mashallah. Fahim, very nice pronunciation. Uh, after, could you read for me this line, please? Line two. Lamita. Lamita. Samia. Yeah. Has. Yes. Tajidu. Tajidu. Yes, that one. Amila. Amila. Well done, mashallah. These letters, all of the letters is going to be short. Okay, Fahim, if you say khatama, are you right? No. no. All of the letters is short. Khatama. 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 Well done. Amina, look at this board. Now we are going to learn the line three. Line three, look. Ya azabur ya. Ya azabur ya. Jim zera ji. Jim zera ji. Dal peshe du. Dal peshe du. Ya ji du. یا جیدو یا زبر یا عین زرعی ذال پیش زو یا عیدو تا زبر تا سواد جرسی لام پیش لو تا سوی لو یا زبر یا ہا زبر ہا باب پیش بو یا ہا بو تا زبر تا عین جرعی دال پیش دو تا عیدو تا عیدو تا عیدو ویل دن نون زبر نا با زبر با حمزہ زبر آ نبا نبا با زبر با با زبر با را ذری را ذری قف زبر قا زبر قا باریق باریق فا زبر فا فا زبر فا سو زبر سو سو زبر سو لام زبر لا لام زبر لا فصل فصل نون جب نون پیش نو نون پیش نو فا ذری 
خاء زبر خاء نفي خاء نفي خاء راء زبر راء ضاد جير ضي يا زبر يا يا زبر يا راضي يا راضي يا ناو أمينة can you read for me line three please يا زبر يا جدو يا جدو يا يا إزو excellent نحصل تصويل تصويل يا 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 هبو excellent Masha Allah, very nice pronunciation. Now, Sumaya, can you read for me line four, please? Naba. Excellent, Sumaya. Babika. No, Sumaya, look, this is a big cup, isn't it? There is a two cups. One cup is this one, one is that one, isn't it? Yeah, this one pronunciation and this one pronunciation totally different, yeah? Say it again, Barika. Barika. Excellent, now that one. Fasala. 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 Yeah. Nufiha. Excellent. Radia. 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 The pronunciation middle letter is wa. Radia. Radia. If you say radia, this is wrong. You are going to make the change this wa by the dal. That's why <coughs> that one is letter dal and that one is wa. This is dal. This is wa. Pronunciation of da and pronunciation of boa are totally different. Two letters, two pronunciation. Look, rabuya, rabuya, rabuya. Well done, mashallah, sumaya. You will try to practice the maharijul huruf, the real pronunciation of the letter. Otherwise, meaning is going to be changed. Yeah, you are not going to get the reward from Allah. You will get the guna. That's why before uh, uh, sounding, you have, uh, must practice. The pronunciation of the letters, the makharij al isn't it? Inshallah, in future, you can read the Quran nicely, okay? Now, line five, line five, five. look. Zal jabar za. Zal jabar za. Ha zabar ha. Ha zabar ha. Ba zabar ba. Ba zabar ba. Za ha ba. Za ha ba. Ha zabar ha. Ha zabar ha. Ba zabar ba. Ra <laughs> Hamza Zer Lamza Lamza Burla. Suila. Suila. Well done. Line six. Ba the Burba. Ba the Burba. Ef Zer E. Ya the Burya. Ya the Burya. Bakia. Bakia. Da Dalja Burda. Dalja Burda. Qua the Burqua. Qua the Burqua. Lamza Burla. Lamza Burla. Da Huala. Da Huala. Wam the Burwa. Jim Zaburja, Jim Zaburja, Dal Jaburda, Dal Jaburda, Wajada, Wajada, Swat Jabura Swat, Swat Jabura Swat, Dal Jaburda, Dal Jaburda, Af Zaburka, Af Zaburka, Swadaka, Swadaka, Kaf Zaburka, Kaf Zaburka, Fa Zaburfa, Fa Zaburfa, Ra Zaburra, Ra Zaburra, Kafara, Kafara. Now I'm going to ask for him again. Can you read for me line five, please? Zahaba. Again, please. Zahaba. 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 Yeah, that one. Hadara. Habwara. Hadara. Excellent. Kasabu. Kasaba. Kasaba. Good. Maaka. Excellent. Suila. Mashallah, very nice pronunciation for him. Okay, now. Can you read for me this line, please, after? Bakiya. 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 Dakhwala. Dakhwala. Wajada. 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 Excellent, mashallah. Uh, this small writing, you can see, I think. Swadaqa. Swadaqa. Kafara. Kafara. Well done, mashallah. Line seven. Khwapeshku. Khwapeshku. Lamzerli. Lamzerli. Lafzabarqa. Lafzabarqa. Khulika. Khulika. Ta'zabarqa. 
Dear viewers, after the break, break, you are most welcome to watch our program again. <coughs> we are learning Surah Al-Nasr, which is very important Surah in the Holy Quran. The last complete Surah of the Holy Quran. We are going to recite this Surah in our prayer every day. That's why we have to learn it correctly. Alhamdulillah, all, lots of people are memorized the Surah Al-Nasr. But... Not with mask. Mask is to pronounce it correctly. Lots of brothers, alhamdulillah, and sisters memorized it with mask, but we don't know the meaning of the Surah Al-Nasr. And some brothers and sisters are memorized it, 
with mask and meaning. But we don't know the explanation of Surah Tun Nasr. Inshallah, in our today lesson, we are going to learn the memorizing mask with meaning and understanding as well. Inshallah, we learn Surah Tun Nasr. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ida ja anasurullahi wal fatih. Ida ja anasurullahi wal fatih. Waraita. يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إن إنه كان توابا إنه كان توابا صدق الله العظيم صدق الله العظيم I have taught you now your turn who want to say first the surah to Nasr who want to say first Fahim can you say the surah to Nasr mean please surah to Nasr first أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح فتح فتح yeah. ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر فسبح فسبح بحمد فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر 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 إنه كان توابا فهم ولا ما شاء الله بات يدان المستيك إنه إنا نو مشدد إذا قلنا إذا تد واجب قلنا إنه سيد إنه كان توابا ولدن ما شاء الله can you say the meaning please in the name of Allah most kind most merciful yeah when there comes the hope of Allah yeah and the conquest yeah. and that you see people people entering our religion in clouds so glorify his praises and ask his forgiveness hmm. verily he is the one who accepts all repentance and who forgives oil well done mashallah it's a very nicely the meaning whenever you recite in prayer you must remember the meaning what Allah is saying in the surah okay after, can you tell us for the surah, please? A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Iza ja'a nasrullahi wal fatah. 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 Wa ra'ayta al-nasa yadkhuluna fi deen allahi afwaja Fasabbih bihamdi rabbika wa astaghfir Hurra is full mouth after rabbika Rabbika wa astaghfir Innahu kana tawwaba Well done, mashallah. Can you say the meaning for us, please? In the name of Allah, most kind, most merciful. Yeah. When Allah's help comes and the victory. Yeah. And you see people entering Allah's religion in crowds. Yes. Then praise your Lord and ask him for forgiveness. Surely he is always ready to forgive. Well done, mashallah. Very nice. Can you say this uh, surah, please? Amina? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahir-Rahmanir-Rahim 
Well done, mashallah. Very nice. Can you say the meaning, please? In the name of Allah, in the name of Allah and the most kind and most merciful. When there comes the help of Allah to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, against your enemies and the conquest of Mecca, and you will see people enter Allah's religion, Islam in crowds. So glorify the praises of your Lord and ask him forgiveness. Verily, he is the one who accepts repentance and he forgives. Well done, mashaAllah. Sumaya, can you say this surah, please? Well done, mashallah. You said very nicely. In future, you will correct your touch with rules as well, okay? Can you say the meaning, please? In the name of Allah, most kind of most merciful, when there comes the help of Allah to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, against your enemies and conquests of Mecca, <coughs> so, so glorify the praises of your Lord and ask his forgiveness. I mean... Uh, yes. Ask for Allah is always ready to forgive. Well done, okay. mashallah. Sumaya, you said very nicely, inshallah, you will learn lots of things in future. Shall I tell you? That when the Surah Al-Nasr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed, shall I tell you? Okay. During the last Pharaoh, last half hajj of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there was a 125,000 125, companion of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the field of the Mina. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was, this was the last hajj. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never done any hajj in, uh, after this hajj. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not any more long in this world. After a few months, he is going to pass away from the world. He is going to die. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the, all of the prophet and messenger. Why? To establish the Allah's deen. To complete a mission. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in his age, only 63 years, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him a spiritual power. He was able to establish the Allah's deen in this world by the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His mission was completed, but he no need to stay anymore in this world. He need to meet to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why only three months left, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this surah, revealed this surah to inform him to be prepared for the akhirah. Prepared for the Akhira. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Allah said to him to ask Allah's forgiveness. Do you know the Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never done anything in his life. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him to ask to Allah to for forgiveness. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do the istighfar to ask Allah for forgiveness. How many times in a day do you know students? 70 more times, he used to ask to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive him, but he never done any mistake. He never done any sin in this world during his lifetime. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed him, he informed him about his 
pass away about his end of the life, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was ready to meet to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this surah, we learn we have to be prepared for the akhirah. We is remember to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is our duty and responsibility. Can you, can you remember the story of this surah when, that it was, when this surah was revealed? Inshallah. Now, students, last in our last lesson, what Islam started the lesson was about zakah. What about? Zakah. Zakah. What does zakah mean? Zakah means purified, the growth, purification. That means whenever the people spend their money, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will purify their wealth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, increase their uh, increase their wealth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised in the Holy Quran. Okay, the five pillars of Islam. How many pillars of Islam? Five. I told you last time what the hadith was. Bunyal Islam ala khamsin shahadati Allah ilaha illallahu wa anna Muhammad rasulullah wa iqami salati wa ita'i zakati wal hajji wa sawmi ramadan. Shahada, first pillars of Islam. Allah said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa salah. Establish regular prayer. What the third one is? Iqam is wa ita is zakah. What the third one is? Zakah. Zakah is the third pillars of Islam. Islam. Zakah is the third pillars of Islam. Islam. Do you know there is no difference as a commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the salah and about the zakah. Every Muslim have to do five times prayer in a day. And every single Muslim, those who reach the nisab, lots of money, they have to spend the money to sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from their money to a half percent. They have to pay. This is the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, I'm going to ask you, Fahim, can you tell us, what do you understand about the zakah, please? Zakah is the third pillar of Islam. Um, zakah is is important because because as it is one of the five pillars of Islam. Yes. Every year we should donate money for the for the people people that need it mm. and for the Muslim co community. Mm. Yes. And. There should be about 595 grams of silver mm. or about 85 grams of gold. Yeah. There should be 2.5%.